Welcome to the Cybertruck Unveil. I love you guys too. I love you guys too. Hey. Uh, trucks have been the same for a very long time. Over per, like 100 years, trucks have been basically the same. We want to try something different. Let's show you what trucks have, you, you see trucks all the time, but as a reminder, what do they look like? Yeah, so. <laughs> so sorry to, this is a trial, this is a trial. Please bear with us. <laughs> so. It's actually hard to tell. It's hard to tell which uh, which is which, really. Um, I would, took the brands off. We took the brands off, but uh, it's hard to tell which is which is which with the brands off. They'll they'll pretty much look the same. We need something different, and we, and we need we need sustainable energy now. <laughs> if we if we don't if we don't have a pickup truck, we can't solve it. Uh, the number one selling truck, a vehicle in America, top three uh, selling vehicles in America are pickup trucks. We have to, if to solve sustainable energy, we have to have a pickup truck. So I present to you the cyber truck. Doesn't look like anything else. <laughs> so we'll start off with the size, the dimensions, and the inspiration. So the, the functionality I'm going to describe is within a space that is less than the most po popular pickup truck in the United States, the F-150. So we didn't cheat in either width, height, or length. And we're able to achieve much greater capability in the same, same dimensions, same weight. Yeah. The, part of this is it, it, the, the fundamental design change. Uh, we're, we moved the mass to the outside. We created an exoskeleton. So normally, the way that a truck is designed you have a body on frame, you have a bed on frame, and the, the, the body and the bed don't do anything useful. They're, they're carried like cargo, like a sack of potatoes. It, it was the way that aircraft used to be designed, the, it, when they had biplanes, basically. The, the key to creating an effective monoplane was a stressed skin design. You, you move the stress to the outside skin allows you to do things that you can't do with a body on frame. So we're able to make the, the skin out of uh, thick, ultra-hard stainless steel. It's really hard. <laughs> I'm going to show you just how hard. So <laughs> Franz, Franz has a sledgehammer.
Uh, yeah, don't hold back. Okay. Yeah. It's a regular truck door. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, stop. <laughs> yeah, hit, hit it a couple times. You want to hit it again? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Now I hit the cyber truck. Same thing. Hit a hit a harder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wind I really wind up. Nail it. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah, pretty strong. Nice. Very strong. <laughs> so if you think about like, like a truck, you want, to, you want a truck that's tough? You want a truck that's really tough, not fake tough? <laughs> you want a truck that can take a sledgehammer too? A truck that won't scratch, doesn't dent? What else can we do with this truck? What if we what if we shot it? Let's 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 shoot it. Got it. OSHA. I mean, come on. <laughs> so the that, that's a nine millimeter bullet shot at the door. Shoot it. <laughs> We're in California, unfortunately. <laughs> but the 9mm, it is, it is literally bulletproof to a 9mm uh, handgun. That's how strong the skin is. So it's, it's, it's ultra-hard, cold-rolled uh, stainless steel alloy that we've developed. We're going to be using the same alloy in, in the Starship rocket and in the Cybertruck. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> So on the, on the right, that's like no, normal tr truck doors, like might as well be made of tissue paper. That that's, the, the, looks like a paintball. Very different. So, you know, when you say something's built tough, that's what we mean. <laughs> but what, what about the glass? Seems like a vulnerability. <laughs> yeah. Tra transparent metal glass. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, let's, 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 let's show some of the tests. Let's, uh, what can we do with this? <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, let's, let's show the glass demo. There you go. So first, first, this is regular glass. This is like normal glass, car glass. We want to show you what happens with normal car glass. Shatters immediately with a little ball. Now I'll show you Tesla armor glass. Nothing. Yeah. But it's, 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 it's kind of a small bowl, though. It's, it's, it's maybe like do it at a bigger height. With a, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so it's still, still doing it, I guess. Yeah, not bad. My bigger bowl. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. Franz, could you try to break this glass, please? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. Oh, my fucking God. Well, maybe that was a little too hard. <laughs> Should we try it in the mirror? Sorry? It didn't go through. That's so that's a, that's a plus side. Let's try the right. Okay. Try that one, really? Okay. Yeah. Sure. Oh <laughs> man. It didn't go through. <laughs> All right. <laughs> eh, not bad. A little room for improvement. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. So yeah. Uh, we, we, we actually throw everything. We threw wrenches. Uh, we threw everything. We even literally threw the kitchen sink at the at the, the, the glass, and it didn't break. For some weird reason, it broke. Now I don't know why. <laughs> you know, should just fix it in post. <laughs> so, in addition, the car has an adaptive uh, air suspension. It's literally built. Yeah, adaptive air suspension. So. This will come standard on all the cars. I think this is actually a very important uh, design element um, because if you have a, a if, 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 every, if every truck has the ability to adjust the ride height, so you can go very low or very high, so you can be efficient on the highway, and you can, you can also go off-roading, um, it's going to have uh, the highest clearance of any, any production truck. So we're going to have a, 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 about a 16-inch clearance. Um, and uh, you can adjust this on the fly. So it's adaptive damping and, and adaptive uh, ride, ride height. These, these are actually extremely important for a truck. Because trucks, when you only drive them, they're either too cushy or they're, they're too hard. Um, you need it to be able to adjust dynamically depending upon what the load is. If you've got a lot of people on board, if you've got a full bed in the, in the back, it's got to adjust accordingly. So, yeah. Um, let's talk, talk about the, uh, we call it the Volt, Cybertruck Volt. So, let's see. Yeah. Let's look at, I was demo this active, so yeah. So. The rear is 100 cubic feet, six and a half foot uh, length, bed length, uh, up to 3,500 pounds of payload. Yeah. And it can tow. What about a real world, real world test? Like, let's let's uh, actually have a tug of war here with an F-150. Yeah. So you can see, you know, we see, see which one can pull which. Let's let's uh, let's do the tug of war video. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but it was uphill. So let's see, on-road performance. Wow. <laughs> now let's see, the, how does this uh, compare to uh, a Porsche 911? Okay, we're gonna give the Porsche a little bit of a head start. Yeah, this is a this is a current current edition Porsche. That this, and this is the actual truck. That this is not CGI. <laughs>
In terms of off-road performance, it's going to have the best uh, angular approach angle, best clearance height, best departure angle. For people that are really like, going off-road, this is going to be great. You can basically do the Baja Rally in this thing. We have three ranges. So, yeah. So obviously they'll have access to all the superchargers, uh, be capable of uh, more than 250 kilowatts. We'll reveal the actual number later. Uh, and uh, it has onboard outlets for 110 and, 100 and 220 volts. So you don't need a generator. Yeah. The, the, the truck literally is your generator. Um, and as a little plus, because it's got an air suspension, we can tap off the air suspension so you have a, a, a pneumatic source. So you have an, a, a, yeah. yeah. You need an onboard air compressor. Of course, it will come with autopilot standard. Yeah. So the, there will be three versions. And but it's gonna. That, that's the price without any incentives. That's just like the price without any incentives. Um, but the, the actual economics are even better than that uh, because the cost of electricity is much less than the cost of gasoline. So when you look at the actual cost of ownership here, uh, it's, it's, you know, you, you're paying uh, much less for electricity than you are for, for gasoline. You're paying much less for maintenance. There's no oil changes, no smog checks, no nothing, none of that stuff. Uh, so your maintenance is low, your cost of operations is low, um, and so it's actually uh, comparable to a, a truck, a, a gasoline truck that's ten to fifteen thousand dollars less. Yeah. So. All right. Yeah, so you can order now if you would like. Yes. <laughs> Tesla.com slash Cybertruck. <laughs> oh, 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 I should say also, we're going to be offering rides in this all night. Yeah, yeah don't mind the glass. <laughs> so, anyway, th thank you guys for coming. And uh, which, I think it's going to be a great, great party, and you'll love riding around this thing. It's great. All right, thank you. Oh, wait. We have uh, Should we do the, oh, 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 this, oh yeah. The, we, made an, we also made an ATV, so. Bring it out. See the, the truck? This is what I mean by the adaptive air suspension. Yeah, nice work, by the way. Um, so the adaptive air suspension, you can drop real low, and you go high on the other side. We call this load mode. So you got load mode, 
You got a built-in ramp, so you can take an ATV or dirt bike, whatever you want, and load it on the back. Yes. Oh, uh, can, and it's 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 current it's it's currently plugged in and charging. Yeah. See, so look at the, the car is adjusting itself. So you can go like real tight on the freeway, and you can go way high off roading. Yeah. All right. Thank you.